Chicago and Vida say, very to hear back with a look at this week's mail. Happy Canada Day to all my fellow Canucks. And uh, first of all, some stuff from Penguin Magic. Uh, first I got the uh, cross deck. This is the, the Golden Grace. Very nice holographic -y and foiled box and nice cards. I do not know why it is that I did not back for this one on the Kickstarter project. I got the other two, the red and the blue, which I've already reviewed, and I didn't get this one. I was actually hoping this one would get here in time to have it up alongside the other ones, but Penguin Magic sent me the wrong deck. They sent me a red one instead of this one, so I had to reorder it. They, they gave me my money back, so it's all good. I got that. I also got the... Uh, Serious B, B5, unfortunately it suffered some damage. I don't even care that much. Um, I'm kind of hoping this is the last one of these because I keep saying that, but they, they keep making more. But it's like, it's just the same thing. It's just a slightly different color. It's not that exciting of a deck. I don't even know who's buying them, except for me. <laughs> uh, then there is one from King's Wall. It is the Cibola. Uh, I don't know about you, but... Where I'm from, that means onion in Portuguese. I don't know if that's what it means here, but this is a vintage reimagined. It's a vintage reproduction, part of this vintage reimagined series. Nice foil tuck case with embossing. Really nice deck. And then I got one. This is a Penguin Magic one, the Spiderweb deck. This is from back in 2016. So what is that, like eight years ago now? Seven, eight years ago? I only just got around to getting it. It's not bad for what it is. It's probably their oldest deck or one of their oldest decks that they put out. And then I got some decks from collectible playing cards. It came for, with an ad card. Uh, on this side, we have the Bicycle Peace and Love deck, which you can pre-order right now on the website. It should be coming relatively soon. And then on the other side, their recent release, which you can order right now, the Bicycle Poker Dogs. Ooh, let the dogs out. Goodbye. <laughs> the decks I got from Cut Off Point Cards include the Bicycle Prehistoric, a recent USPC uh, release. It's prehistoric. Get it before it goes extinct, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's fine for what it is. And then there is the new Silver Metalux. Previously, I got the blue one from, from PlayingCardDecks.com. At the time, they did not have the silver one for some reason. Look at that. It's like a mirror society. I really like the look at that silver and the gold foil. Very nice. Very fancy looking. And then, lastly, I got the Stranger Things, which, of course, is a figure 11 deck. Very nice tuck case with holographic foils, custom seal. Very nice artwork inside as well. Now, last week, it was all games is what I got. This week... I thought it was going to be all decks, but I did get a game delivered today. It is for Northwood. <laughs> for the people. It's a solo trick-taking game. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty interesting, pretty cool. I jumped on it when I saw it. It is by uh, Sideroom Games and Gigamech. Uh, Giga Sorry. Sideroom Games and Gigamech Games, an HDM board game. Um... Yeah, sidegroomgames.com. I'll put the link in the description. It is a little bit heavier than usual because it is plastic cards. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Solo trick taking game. I like it. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. That is it for this week. Stay tuned for more reviews, upcoming, and how to plays, and all sorts of stuff. So that is that. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.